So tonight I am waiting for my ostrich steak to rest. I think I've only had ostrich one other time. Long, long, long time ago. Not that much of it. This is a whole steak. Not a very big steak. Definitely going to be gamey. So with a gamey piece of meat, I wanted to go with a wine I think goes really well. And sometimes is even considered gamey. So this is a Kornos. So from the Northern Rhone. 100% Syrah in here. Actually, I could even see all this sediment. I used my Corvin just to extract probably about a glass and a half. It's 2012 Vincent Paris, uh, La Ganelle, and I'm pretty sure I've had this before. It's about $80, I think. But Cornos makes this region, small region up in Northern Rhone, 100% Syrah there. Some of the other regions in Northern Rhone could actually add a little bit of white wine to and add a little bit it adds a little bit more fragrance you would never in a million years know that a co roti which is also primarily syrah has any white wine vinified with it white grapes vinified with it but it adds a little bit of bouquet typically is what they say anyway 100 percent syrah in cornas that's what the regulations say 10 years on this one and i love cornas i love northern rhone probably one of my favorite regions in the world i think it makes the best syrah in the world other places for Syrahs, California, they do make amazing Syrah in California. A little bit more unctuous compared to these, which have a little bit of a gaminess, a meatiness, a smokiness. Sometimes when there is that raspberry puree. And I don't get as much black pepper in the Syrah from... What are they called? Rotundan. And I don't get as much black pepper from Northern Rhone. I get more of it from... Australia. This is a my swirl isn't great here. I, I poured a bit extra. It certainly has a gaminess to it. There's absolutely dark red fruit. There's herbal characters. Tons of tons of dried and fresh herbs, sage and thyme. Raspberry puree is in there also for sure. A little bit of the fruit drying. A little bit of a dried raspberry. Maybe a dried cherry. Dried, yeah, dried cherry. Uh, an interesting aroma for sure. There's a little bit of a... Um, gosh. I feel like there's a, a fresh herbal quality to it. Maybe it's like a black tea. Kind of. Some type of tea quality. Let's see. Still, oh, what a length. That is amazing length. Really long length. Good acid still. Good structure. Really well-structured wine. This wine's awesome. And really has aged extremely gracefully. And I think we'll, it, the tannins are super silky, but absolutely still there. Puckers your mouth a little bit, but not too much. Yeah, it, it has a delicious factor, but then has a very rustic, old-world factor. This is a really good wine. This is really going to pair well, I think. As long as the ostrich is good. So knock on wood, hopefully it's good. Uh, this is like a 4.5, if not a 5 out of 5. This wine is going to be awesome. I think with the food, it's going to be awesome. I only just Corvind it. I bet you as this wine opens up, it'll just get better and better. So I'll probably have half with the steak and maybe a little bit have some more later maybe talk about it in a, in a later date at a later date one opened yesterday almarez and i think i did it in an unboxing this is a 2012 so i found these on the shelf tito de toro so this is from the toro region so the three major regions that make tempranillo in spain rioja Ribera del duero and then toro probably the least well known i used to buy this wine all the time it's sub 30 dollars i think it's 25 dollars and it's a bigger wine. It was, I tried it yesterday, it was delicious, it was fantastic. I still have about half the bottle left, a little more than half the bottle. If I go back to that store, they have more, I'll probably buy a few more for sure. I wasn't sure about the 2012, I think I even mentioned that even in the unboxing. As long, you know, it does, did this have the shelf life for a 10 year wine at $25? It absolutely does. Wine's fantastic still, and that's a $25 wine, so I will be buying more of that. 
uh, maybe have a glass of that after, but but really I'm enjoying this this Cornas. I, I could still taste it. Gosh, that is an extremely long length and just has lingering flavors that just don't go away. It's definitely got its age to it, but it's it, as you can see, the, it's a it's a bigger it's Syrah, 100% Syrah to the Northern Rhone, so they don't use a lot of new French oak, but they certainly use oak. I think it just is so harmonious with its flavors of fruit, the dark fruit flavors, and then its rustic flavors and herbal flavors. And I just believe they age extremely well. The tannins are really well integrated into the wines in the Northern Rhone. They have sort of a silkiness to them, but then a, a, an elegance to them that, and they just don't knock your, they don't hit you so hard. They're just, you know, medium to full body, medium, medium to full. So it's like a medium plus body type of wine, but extreme long length and extreme elegance and really well, really well made. I think that's why I just love the Northern Rhone, specifically Hermitage, Cornas, and Cote Roti. Uh, then if we want sort of the bargain ones, you would go St. Joseph, Crozet Hermitage, I think. I don't know if there's any others up there. There's a few for white wines, Condria specifically. And that the grape in Condrio's Viognier. But... Okay, time to have this, this ostrich steak and report back on the swine in possibly a few days. Have a good night.